Hi guys, see you again on your favorite channel, Shonya Studio. For years ago, until now, vampires or Dracula are depicted as immortal human figures who survive by drinking human or animal blood. Vampire stories are found in popular fiction novels or films on television and the big screen. One of them is the film Twilight. But in reality, humans who like to drink blood actually exist even though they are not vampires. One of them is a mother of two children named Julia Caples. He was nicknamed the Black Rose because of his habit of drinking human blood. It is said that drinking blood is a way to live. In storybooks, vampires are depicted living in a remote area and a haunted house in Transylvania. Well, Julia actually lives in a suburban area in Pennsylvania, United States. In a month, he drank half a gallon of blood or 1.89 liters. To fulfill their need to drink blood, actually many volunteers are willing to drink their blood. Volunteers would give their hands or necks to be bitten by a vampire and then sucked up their blood. However, Julia who is now 50 years old only drinks her fiancé's blood. Some have compared the sensation of drinking blood to a burst of sexual energy. Well, Julia claims, her lust for blood after she was kidnapped and hunted by vampire hunters. It happened during the three decades he joined the underworld community. The trick, she let Wizard of Odd TV see her life as a vampire mother in the suburbs. Just so you know, around the 1990s, Julia was controversially known as the first vampire celebrity. At the time she said, I was one of the original creators of what is known as the vampire community. I was a famous vampire in the 1990s who traveled all over the world, appearing on various television shows. I don't think everyone really wished that I was a real vampire was actually a reality said Julia Caples. She added that current vampires pose as fictional characters and dress like vampires. But in her opinion, they needed to differentiate themselves from people like her. This is our real life. When drinking blood, there is an explosion of sexual energy and sexiness said Julia. She said he combined sex energy with drinking blood, and it was like the pinnacle of strength and energy. That is a sex energy enhancer or aphrodisiac. It was sometimes something taboo and it still happens. However, Julia's mission was to find someone else like her, who was born that way. They don't have to go through what I went through, they don't have to get hurt at it Julia. She claims to have experienced threats from her community. A neighbor once tried to kill her by crashing a car through her kitchen window. As a result she ran out of town and even lost her job. She was fired from work many times because they could find information about the vampire Julia via the internet. She says her life isn't easy, but that's who she really is. She can still survive and be supported by her family, be a good person, help others. Don't be stuck with that label, because the vampire community is a label. Like many other people out there who can offer something positive as well as negative concluded Julia Caples.